Now, come to our own lives. Again, is this a priority? Is religion a priority? When we marry someone, the hadith says that if you marry a woman for her beauty or her wealth, or her family's wealth, right? If you marry her for either her beauty or her wealth, you will not benefit from neither her beauty or her wealth. That's it. That's just how Allah has designed the system. You want to marry someone, marry them because they're good moral people. Because she's going to be a mother to good moral children. Because he's going to be a father to good moral children. Don't look for beauty, don't look for wealth. These are things that are ultimately subjective. Beauty, it's subjective, it's relative. And wealth comes and goes. Beauty comes and goes. Someone who's beautiful to you today, the first sign of trouble and that beauty will turn into the most hideous face you've ever seen. I know someone, I personally know someone who got married to a very beautiful and attractive woman. I haven't seen her, but because he's told me, I know. He now says, I hate beautiful women. Because I've caught my wife speaking to other men, doing fishy things. I hate beautiful women. I want a woman who's not attractive, but who has good akhlaq, good morals. Someone I could find peace and comfort in. Afi salamat and Remember this statement by Amir al Mu'mineen, brothers and sisters. Now, let's look at the companions of Ali ibn Abi Talib, the people around him. Because tell me who your friends are, I'll tell you who you are, right? That's how it works. Birds of a feather flock together, as they say in this culture.